Hello and welcome back to another Rift Airsoft Tactical Skirmish at Redcon 2. Today we'll be spawning at the west end of the runway with the enemy spawning to the east. There are 6 capturable spawn points in play across the land and located at each one will be an ammo tin which we need to recover. Once we've recovered these ammo tins we'll need to store and defend them at two mortar locations, one on the south side of the runway and the other on the north side. The enemy's objective is to push through the tank graveyard destroying vehicles as they go by deploying smoke grenades at set locations, so we'll need to defend that entire area. Both teams also share the objective of controlling beacons. For this game, we'll be making sure they stay switched off. One will be located in Echo Base and the other at the High Cabin. Game on guys, game on! I know that there's three things up north side of the map. Where are you, Ben over? Just at the range. All right, um, if you turn around, you should see us by the bunker. I uh, see Chris. Cool, uh, to the your left of Chris, there's a flag, you can spawn in on that, over. We kick off the game by sweeping through the right lane of Echo Base, checking for the exact locations of objectives as we go. Oh, we've got reds down the end. Check, there's an objective here. You see anything? Uh, cool. Did you say there's supposed to be ammo crates in here? Uh, uh, no, I think in here it's a beacon. I don't quite have that range. Know what be useful right now? Shut up. Seventy percent players sit back, so just push forward. <laughs> We've encountered the enemy just beyond Echo Base. Keeping them held here will allow our team to secure the tank graveyard. Oh, uh, not far enough. Well played, bud. Run from grenade. Put it over. Pick. Michael McIntyre's guy putting seatbelts on children. Just dropped a man. Having lost the first firefight, we now need to deal with the enemy that have hunkered down inside Echo Base's left lane. Cover, yeah? Yeah. Hang on, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> Well played, buddy. Hey, well played. <laughs> Remember, you can't you can't go over. You can only go halfway up. Yeah. Just call it as a CQB. We've pushed down to the end, but we're pinned at the down. end. Whoa, nearly fell back. Well played, bud. But I, th I think you're clear to poke your head around the corner. Oh. Well played, bud. Have you got a picture of me here? Yeah. Okay. Yes, please. <laughs> I've been left alone. Is, that, is someone trying to... Hey! Oh, was that... Oh, 
I was I was thinking, is someone at the back trying to go pew pew? <laughs> Uh, Still trying to hold the point on the end on the right side over. Hey, well played, bud. <sighs> you want to check the mortars real quick? Yeah. Oh, look, Reese's helmet with his flaps. So the other one supposedly is just to the left side of the embankment on the runway. And the mortar by Rugby is full. We have all three hammer tins on it, over. Okay, yeah. give me an order, over. See what's happening in Echo Base on the left lane, over. Okay, okay, you go, over. Banana X-ray. Kilo banana. Okay, the, the, the mortar north of the runway, or on the left side of the runway, has one ammo tin on it, over. Can anyone remember where the ammo tins are on the left side of the land, over? And just inside, on the console there, just have a look and leave it in there. Oh, goodness. So where are we right now? We are currently here. Well. So the links is here. So those two we've taken. Brilliant. Yep. So wh where's the... So there's three over there, one here. There's one here as well, yeah. down there. Containers are just here. So yeah. if you go straight, you see where Marshall's are? Try yeah. If you hook left one. there, yeah. that's Thank the you. containers. All right. Yeah? Yeah, I know the site. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to work. Hey. Oh boy. Take to Chris and Ali, where are you guys over? Copy that, how's it going? There's a riverbed that runs down these bushes and you can get in it and go all the way down to that end of the site. And that, I can't remember what that's called. But this one on the right, you could do the same when you go in those bushes and it goes all the way down to their spawn. And that's, um, that's called Narnia. Oh. In the left lane, you say, over? Over. Copy that, well played bud. So you've got to watch this because they can come out from here. And it can also shoot out from the little holes. We've worked out we're missing an ammo tin from the other side of Container Village. So Ben and I attempt to push up. X-ray! Be careful because they can come out from the bushes in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, He's running, I'm out. Watch out! Well played! Well played! Weapon! They've taken that left hand side from Yeah. Because I just saw all these red. We are in Narnia, down on the far, far end of Narnia over. If you look in the side film, there's plenty to go around. There's a riverbed that runs all the way through this bush, and apparently it's full of blues. So, <laughs> you do randomly get shot from the bush. We'll see how far down here we can get and then um, see if we can get that Amerton. We decide to head into Narnia in an attempt to make our way to the Amerton at the dog leg. Right. I think we've got some reds down there. So there's an ammo tin somewhere there. But there's a spawn point there. And then a few hundred meters that way is their respawn, their main spawn. Well played, bud. You're a blue team, innit? Huh? Are you blue or red? Hey, well played!
That's the first game of the Redcon 2 Weekender and it's off to a brilliant start, and already one of the hottest days I've ever played. At the end of the game we were pushed back quite heavily but we were able to maintain control of one of the mortars with three ammo tins and we were able to control the beacon and echo base for the majority of the game. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to subscribe.